Hey everyone, it's Helga or Pudding Fish Cakes here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this miniature goldfish in a bag which you can turn into a necklace or keychain. For this project, the major materials you will need are orange polymer clay, a small plastic bag, and two-part epoxy resin. Let's start with sculpting the goldfish. Using some orange polymer clay, create a teardrop shape for the body. For the tail, connect and flatten two pieces and texture it using a dotting tool. Similarly, add on the fins. Make an indent for the eye socket and add in a black sphere for the pupil. Place your goldfish on parchment paper and it's ready to be baked. Since this is fairly small, I baked mine for a shorter time than I usually do. You can also follow the instructions on your clay package. Once your goldfish is out of the oven and has cooled completely, let's paint on some gold details to the fins. You can color your goldfish however you'd like. Now let's pour the resin. This will act as our fake water. Using the recommended safety precautions, pour out equal amounts of each part of the epoxy resin. Slowly mix it into a separate container. actually need much depending on the size of your plastic bag, so make sure you're pouring out as much as you need. I'm going to be using the rest of mine for a different project. As soon as your resin is fully mixed, we're going to carefully add in the goldfish and resin into our plastic bag. This can be a little tricky, so it's important to take your time. I simply took my popsicle stick used for mixing and slowly dripped the resin into the bag. You want to make sure the resin is settling to the bottom. Once the resin has filled the bag, including the goldfish, we can seal it. Carefully twist the bag and seal it off temporarily using a binder clip. Then tie it off using some string. Let the resin dry according to the instructions on its original packaging. In my case, I had to wait a couple days before it was fully cured. After the resin has cured, you can remove the binder clip and trim off any excess plastic. Add on a jump ring and clasp so you can attach it to jewelry and you're finished! this tutorial. Art Resin was kind enough to send me a sample of their epoxy resin for me to try out, which I actually use in this video, and I have to say I am thoroughly impressed. What I was really excited about was that it's much safer compared to regular resin. There are no fumes, so you don't have to wear a respirator, um, and I also haven't experienced any yellowing at all. Crafters Delights and Little Surprises YT both did really in-depth reviews, which I think you guys might be interested in watching, so I have put links to their videos down below, so go check that out if you are interested. Links to more information on Art Resin and where you can get it are down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Oh, also, my four year anniversary on YouTube is coming up super, super soon, and I want to do a Q&A and a giveaway for you guys. Leave me your burning questions in the comment section below as well, and I will answer them in my next video. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!